want to just simply explain the correlation between the two. The electromagnetic wave and the water wave, because you seem to be a little confused about it. Or it was like there was like confusion. Um, I bring correlation. The water, like you said, is vibrating underneath and moving up and down in order, and it seems as if it's moving, but it's, I mean, it is moving. It seems like it's moving in direction, but it's actually moving up and down. Electromagnetic wavelength is doing the same kind of thing, but up with particles is in to our perceivable reality. From what we don't, with our five senses perceive, we, it's a vibration, which I believe we have a sixth sense that perceives it, a string vibration, mathematically, something is causing this appearance of. And so the electromagnetic waves are seemingly moving from point to point, but they're actually appearing from underneath the surface of reality. I want to like do it all with eye contact, get everyone on board for the whole explanation, have it so simply put that everyone gets it. I believe, I was looking at the surface of the water from this fish tank, from Kiff's fish tank, and like looking up at it, and it's noticeably like if you eat jello, you notice it develops like a skin around the, where it retouches the air, and water kind of does that same thing. It's almost like a, an extra little layer of filmy I mean, and then it, if, you, if you touch it from the top, it looks very strange, like you're putting your hand through one of those things in, in uh, what was that show with Richard Dean Anderson? where they walked through that portal, Stargate. It looks like Stargate. When you put your finger through water, when you're looking up from underneath at it, it looks like, whoa, it's like we're coming through the plane of reality. And, and so I think of that film, that, that thin layer of surface as the Higgs field. And when there's a vibration underneath it, it causes a movement, a perceivable movement above it, or in this sense of above it, with the Higgs field, it would actually be like to us. If we are, we're not above the Higgs field, but we are on one aspect of the Higgs field, and then on the other aspect of the Higgs field, there's this vibrative motion. We get what we get the waves. We see the waves, and it's it's a moving up and down in sequence. So it's actually appearing in place in the string of places. It's not actually moving. Nothing is actually moving from here to there. It's all appearing in place. Very interesting concept, and it's like taking your mind away from up and down and putting it to this in and out of this reality, whatever this reality is. It's all one reality. You know, as we develop our sense, we'll, we'll more see it. We can see it in the future, our, our minds. Um, the light hits our eyes, and there's about a one-tenth of a second delay before our brains get the image. So our bodies, our minds, and our eyes, and everything have developed the ability to look one-tenth of a second into the future to not be hit in the face. When something's coming at you, you, you assume it's going to be there based on what you're seeing. And I think we can develop that skill way far, very far ahead, knowing the vibration patterns underneath the Higgs surface. If you become familiar with those vibration patterns, you can see what's coming far before it's coming, like detecting a tsunami. You, if your technology is good enough, you can know far ahead. You can see, it's like it's all one thing moving at once in one spot. So when you can step back far enough from it, you can see it all moving and see where everything will be. Talk to you soon, man.